So, Adam Court says, does your sponsor sell duct tape? Just duct tape 12 of your robots together and you're done. As easy as that would be, because I do have the duct tape. And I do have an entire shelf. We come over here. Follow me. We do have shelves and shelves of little robots ready to go. Um, that won't use Bishop Weisscarver product. So, remember, the rule for today's design competition is you do have to call out a specific Bishop Weisscarver product to include in this. Because robots do not happen without happy sponsors. So, I do want to thank Bishop Weisscarver for sponsoring this build, this trip, out to, to Norwalk Havoc. And uh, let's get into some suggestions that will include a new build we can do here on the channel and include a Bishop Weisscarver product in it. So let's check it out. Sadlad6182 recommended we use the Bishop Weisscarver XLA Linear Actuator. So that's this guy. And he is suggesting we take this product and we make a tantrum style sliding weapon out of it. Now, Tantrum is a BattleBots champion, and his ability to pin his opponents and then spin up to deliver a huge hit to the under chassis proved to be really effective, even knocked out Hydra in that final season, which uh, turns out Jake didn't run very much bottom armor because he was hoping with his incredible ground game no one would ever get under him. And uh, Tantrum was able to take full advantage of that in the rematch, in the rematch, not the controversial match. So, <clears throat> yeah, I like this idea. I've never made that style of robot, so this one is a contender. Okay, okay. believe it or not, even Jameson Go has submitted a submission. So the captain of Sawblaze, BattleBot's current world champion, he's recommending we go to the Bishop Weisscarver website and use the Hepco Motion Precision Ring Track. Now, this would be interesting. We could make, like... A Helios vertical spinner where like there's no center axis uh, we could try to make a hammer saw out of that which that would be really cool looking and crazy kind of Tron wheel esque um, he says I believe because I, I think this would be a, a harder piece to adapt but it would definitely make some very futuristic robots okay we have another BattleBots captain making the suggestion. I should say aspiring BattleBots captain. Uh, this is John Abbott. And if you guys remember our episode about BattleBots face-off, he was the captain who was nice enough to bring food to all of us when we were all in crunch time. So thank you again for that, John. I did really appreciate it, and so did the rest of the teams. Um, he put in a recommendation of using the Hepco Motion HDRT, which stands for heavy duty ring track and uh, I'll pull up a picture of this here and check this out so he's suggesting that we do a hybrid between Scorpios and Tantrum so imagine if I could rotate that picture imagine that being the tail on the back of a Scorpios and having the spinner on the sliding track and having it ramp up and down the curved track so we could literally have a scorpion tail and a spinning blade that spins up and goes whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. A really unique idea and something I've never seen before in BattleBots. And this specific product does say it is rated for heavy duty lifting and impact. So, uh, hmm. Might have to try that on the real Scorpios. All right. Let's see what's next. Okay. So our next suggestion comes from Luke Quinn, which if you guys don't know, he is the gyro walking master of Norwalk. Uh, he made Rickety Cricket. He, uh, oh, oh God, I'm forgetting the other one's name. But if you've seen a gyro walker on Norwalk, he's the one responsible. He's a big fan of Dan Chatterton and Rex. I've been trying to convince him to help us with the Rex build. And uh, he has su suggested the Hepco Motion. Wow, you guys like these rings a lot but the Hepco Motion ALR. And he says, build yourself a 12 pound gyro walker 
using these rings to help support the middle. I think this is his subtle way of telling me to get back to work on the big Rex I promised everybody. Because in the Bishop Weisscarver video, I did specifically bring up these rings helping me get Rex back on track. Which they have, and that's not my new holdup. Um, but yeah, I do really want to use these. And I want to make a 250 pound gyro walker. Though, as you can see, they have multiple sizes, so I could also make a 12 pound gyro walker. And uh, Luke, thank you for your suggestion, and thank you for reminding me I still need to go build that robot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna butcher this name. Uh, Fatty McBo519 says, Yo, use that NHRL walking bonus. Make yourself a heavy ass robot. Sorry. Bad word. Um, yeah. Let's use that walking bonus. We have a bearing company sponsoring. We can put all kinds of bearings in this thing. Dual V, baby. Okay. All right. So the next one I got for you guys is Cody Furlong. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, suggested using uh, the V Groove bearings to make a shuffle drive so you can build a ring spinner. I really like that idea. All right, um, we got another one here. Mike NCR, I've got a pair of concepts for you on the same core product. The, man, you guys like this one. The Hepco Motion PRT2. Uh, ring spinner, I've never made a ring spinner, so I, I would actually like to do that. All right. So Beaverbotics recommended to us to use their precision ring track system and make a turret style robot such as Chomp or Tazbot. Now that is something I have not made yet and would definitely be an interesting challenge. I'm a huge fan of Donald Hudson. Um, however, I really want to make a spinner of some kind because it's Norwalk, they love damage, they love big spinners. So I like the suggestion. I might actually do that for one of my bot bash builds, but mm, we're going to keep looking. Oh, hey, Builder Block. Our next suggestion comes from Glenn Morganoff Fan 9411 And once again, I'm very sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, he recommends we use the XLR Linear Actuator. And uh, just so you guys can get a sense of that again, it's this one to make a crusher style robot where your opponent will come in and then the actuator crushes down upon them. Now I have to say that would be pretty slick and I don't think I've seen people use linear actuators for crushers, but I'm going to ask the Bishop Weisgarber engineers if they think the uh, XLR slide has enough torque to crush a robot. Flux Pal RC Yo 2 JN I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I'd like to see an upscaled version of Flapjack, because it's such a rare fighting style, and you performed so well with it. Uh, he's referring to when I challenged Paul, and I actually managed to beat the BattleBots champ with a very odd robot. This was actually built originally by the Kronos driver, the Kronos captain, Jerry, down in L.A. And I should say... He made a, a three pound or one pound version that I really loved watching at his tournament. And I said this would be so cool as a bot bash robot. And then when our truck got broken into and everything was stolen, uh, the Vasquez brothers built one of these for me. Because they were at that tournament and they saw how much I liked it. And Flapjack has been kicking bot bash butt for years. He's a side style lifter. And yes, this is a very rare class. Uh, almost never seen anywhere. And, uh... This would be neat to make a 12 pound version of. Um, however, I, I, I want a spinner. Norwalk seems to like spinners, so I, uh, I'm gonna put that one on the back burner. But thank you for the suggestion. Okay guys, I, I think we have a winner here. Um, this is My Girlfriend Doesn't Like Robots. I recognize that name, you are a long time subscriber and seem to have a window into my thoughts, because I know you've won a few of our giveaways. Um, he says, 
make a ring spinner using the Hepco Motion uh, PRT2 uh, would be very interesting and good, utilizing the same shape and performance idlers. So once again, that's that's the dual V bearings with the Hepco Motion ring, and this is exactly what I was talking about on that other gentleman who said use the dual V in the shuffle pod. So you could use the you can even incorporate. The Hepco Motion ARL aluminum ring into the outer ring spinner. Use the dual V to help keep it on track. And he says, good luck building that, and good luck in our walk. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I do think that is going to be my winner. Once again, it is the Hepco Motion rings, which we've seen quite a bit, and a lot of you recommended, including BattleBots captains such as Jameson Go. Um, I know Full Court is a, a big horizontal killer, and, and is one of the things I'm supposed to look out for, and I shouldn't be building a horizontal. But uh, I, I've never made a ring spinner, and I really like this idea of making a ring spinner. And I feel like Bishop Weisscarver has the right products to finally do this successfully. I am going to make that a shuffler. And so we're going to go from 12 pounds to 18 pounds, and uh, we'll just see how big of a weapon I can put on this. <laughs> So I do want to thank everybody for all their submissions and their great ideas. If there's something you saw today that you think is something you want to build, go build it. Go get the parts and go make it. There is nothing stopping anyone from building any of these robots. But I think I've picked out the one I want to make. And congratulations to my girlfriend doesn't like robotics. <laughs> um, your idea is getting made. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Black guy in that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way Out of there I want to be Black guy in that day Take me to the place I love